Hello, all. Uh, this one's going to be on uh, uh, a neat feature that you can find in Peppermint OS uh, called uh, Site-Specific Browsers. And you can install it uh, from the Arch Linux user repository, and it does support uh, Firefox and a whole bunch of other uh, variations of Firefox, Google, Chrome, and Chromium, and different uh, versions, of course. And I was just looking over this. It's, I think it's a neat little utility if you want uh, online tools. Um, you know, there's a ton of them now. YouTube, you know, a ton of Google applications. And I'm showing an example here of Pixlr. And uh, what the difference is between uh, Chromium's built-in create application shortcut. And the answer is that Chromium, Chromium's built-in tool does not integrate with LXDE menu with the LXDE menu in it at all and doesn't give the user the opportunity to remove them okay so uh, da, 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 AUR archive um, I think ice there it is first one there's also a git version and it was updated uh, this year October 30th so fairly recent so you can uh, you know if you have Yowart installed you can download uh, and install through the terminal. You can download a snapshot and manually build it yourself, basically. And, uh, and it just uh, there's the same URL I was just looking at there. So as I, uh, I, I already have it installed on their internet. It's not under ICE. And I already have one for YouTube. And you can remove it. So that's what they're talking about. So you can create uh, something... Um, that that has a, a web application. So, for example, uh, immigr.com uh, internet menu or wherever you want in your system, the internet's you can select a favorite icon, and you can uh, use uh, Firefox, and it will pick up whatever's installed. So, I have Chromium installed, you know, or Google Chrome. I don't have it installed. So, let's see if you can use. Uh, there you go. So, use site's favorite icon. Click apply. And if you want to remove it, it's uh, here. So just close that. Now go to Internet, and there's Immigr. And it'll open up in a, in like a dedicated window, as you can see here, which I find pretty pretty neat. Uh, so this is running in Firefox. There is a difference, actually, between Chrome, Google Chrome or Chromium and Firefox in that um, ICE will create a, another Firefox directory. So I guess it's a good thing in a way. So you don't have any plugins or anything. If you press Alt H and look at your uh, add-ons, for example, you can see that there's none in here. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, other than whatever is installed on your system. But it's not going to pick up any add-ons. And when you close, it's going to ask to close tabs. So say we want Google Drive. I just guessed the address, drive.google.com. And again, the menu. Uh, see if it'll pick up a, a, the sites icon. Yes, it does. So you click apply, and this time I'm going to use Chromium. All right. Now apply, close, and go to our internet menu and uh, Google Drive. Did I spell that right? <laughs> uh, the difference is, as my uh, Google Drive account, I'm already logged in. So here's another on YouTube, and this is mine, my uh, account, and I don't, I, I believe there's the, whatever plugins you have, as I said before, uh, will interact, but it's, it's ran still in the Google space in the uh, Arch Linux dot config folder. So I found that kind of interesting as well. So I thought it was, uh, like I said, a kind of a neat uh, application. So it's called ICE, and very simple to use, I think. Uh, if you like that kind of thing okay so that's that should do it for this one um i don't think there's anything else i need to explain pretty straightforward so we'll talk to you soon and thank you and bye for now